Today's the day we are gonna show you how to maintain your ceramic coat. I'm gonna show you what I use, the chemicals I use, the tools, the pressure washer, everything you need to know. Stay tuned and let's see what we need. So today we're gonna to be working on my Ram 1500 Laramie Sport. It has the OptiCoat Pro ceramic coat on it. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is skip the wheels today. Normally we like to do the wheels and tires and wheel wells first, but we're not doing that today. We're going to go straight to maintaining the ceramic coat on the vehicle itself. Things you'll need, got a foam cannon and a pressure washer. Uh, the nozzle today that we're going to be using on the pressure washer is a 40 degree uh, tip, which uh, I ordered this foam cannon rather cheap on Amazon. And I'll show you guys the link to that. Uh, in the description and I believe it came with a bunch of these nozzles as well so I'll show you what we do all right so the first thing we're going to use is the optimum car wash we're going to use that with the foam cannon I will do a pre rinse on it just to get most of the stuff off then we'll hit it with the uh, foam cannon um, with this um, the ratio is right on it it is a highly concentrated formula use half an ounce per gallon and honestly I just fill this up to about a quarter of the way if you want more exact, you can probably get on one of their forms, but I'll show you how much I put in there and then I'll add water the rest of the way. That's about it right there. And this stuff is highly concentrated. It's like syrup. I'm gonna fill the rest of it up with uh, water and we'll do a pre-rinse and show you how to use the foam can. Pressure washer I'm using today is the Greenwork 1600 PSI. It's electric. And like I said, we're gonna use the 40 degree nozzle. Right now, I'm just gonna spray the truck. I'm gonna get a nice, Pre rinse. It's a nice cool fall day. Um, usually, you want to do it in the evening, not in the sun. And if you are in the sun, just try to do it panel panel by panel. So we'll go ahead and soak the whole truck, and then we'll hit it with the foam cannon. I'll show you a good look with the pressure washer before I wash it. What kind of beating you're getting before uh, I wash the vehicle at all. <laughs> So you can see the water sheds decently well. Not as well as my wife's OptiCoat Pro because, uh, Pro Plus rather, because that extra layer does give you uh, more of the water repellent. But this is the OptiCoat Pro. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unhook the nozzle for the pre-soak, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the foam cannon. Goes on as easy as that. Uh, has an adjuster on the top of it, and you can also adjust the regular nozzle here as well. Um, so let's see how this sprays on. All right, so we're gonna uh, start from the top to the bottom. We'll go ahead and hit it with the foam, and we're gonna let it sit for about three or four minutes, because uh, the sun's really not too hitting too hard on it right now. So we'll go ahead and start from the top. <laughs> So I pretty much used that whole bottle that we made. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and unhook the foam cannon. Kind of hard with one hand here. And we'll go ahead and rehook up our 40 degree nozzle. 
maybe. And okay, that is now hooked up. So now we'll wait and let this uh, go a little bit. So while we're letting this dwell on here for a few minutes, um, it's a good time to go ahead and uh, mix up your um, OptiCoat, um, or rather Optum, no rinse, wash, and shine. This is the new formula, uh, the blue one, and we're going to do the two bucket method today. Uh, so we'll have one for rinse, one for wash, and we'll be using the big red sponge. And we'll dry with this nice heavy duty uh, towel later, but we will get to that. If by chance, after you uh, hit it with the foam cannon and the optimum car wash, now would be a good time to probably use your tar remover. If you have any uh, tar along the sides, um, sometimes right behind the wheels, uh, you get some buildup. Um, that would be a good time to use that tar before you wash it with your uh, optimum no rinse wash and shine. So that's going to go ahead and do it for the pressure washer. We did the pre-rinse, uh, we did the foam cannon, um, and then we just rinsed that off. And honestly, at this point, uh, the truck is looking very clean. Um, but at this point, I think we'll go ahead and hit it with the no rinse and make this thing look even better. I like putting these buckets on a cart and I can put a greater on the truck. Um, so we have the no rinse in my blue bucket here and we have the regular water in here so we'll uh, do a panel at a time with this then we'll rinse it off and we'll go to the next panel um, and then we'll uh, dry the vehicle and we're actually going to use some uh, hyper seal today so stay tuned for that all right so i already got up on the roof and i did the windows um, so basically what you can do is just kind of go you know back and forth nice fluent motions And then what I like to do is, once you get to about halfway down, you can either A, flip your sponge over to get the bottom, or work your way down from the top. My truck's very clean, um, so I think I can go the whole way down just by flipping my sponge. Now, if the bottom of your truck still seemed dirty or your vehicle, then I would go ahead and do the upper parts first, and then I would work down to the bottom part. All right, so as you can see, water's really not that dirty. Uh, only thing's in there is a couple leaves and stuff that were uh, on my truck but um, yeah ended up emptying this bucket from uh, getting everything on it so at this point we're ready to dry um, we're gonna go panel to panel I'm gonna use this uh, big blanket which I actually got at Harbor Freight uh, for a lot less than what the expensive one costs and uh, the edgeless one no tag on it or anything um, very plush so I'll show you how to do that. Now you don't have to use a drying aid, but today we're gonna throw this on. It's OptiCoat Hypersil. Just helps uh, create a nice little uh, protection over your ceramic coat. Necessary? No. Make me feel better? Yes. And this stuff goes a long way. So literally two sprays on your towel and then we'll go start drying. Okay, so I already did the top, but I'm just gonna show you. You just go back and forth with that hyper seal. And then after you got a good dry on it, go to flip your towel over to another panel and dry that off. And once this dries, you can see, I mean, I have a white truck and it's shining very brightly. 
so necessary? No. Do I like it? Oh yeah. Here's a look after we did half the uh, moon roof and this half we did not do yet. But look at the uh, difference. I mean, there's not a water spot, no mark, just looks crystal clear. So for things like my tonneau cover, I use the absorber instead of the microfiber ones. Um, just pulls the water off a little bit better. Um, you can see how much it builds up on here. Uh, but this works real nice just to kind of take that water off. You can see how easy, like look at this spot here, pretty dirty. Go ahead and wipe that off. 